Greetings world, we are anonymous. An intriguing Federal Security Service, FSB, urgent action bulletin circulating in the Kremlin today states that an initial investigation into the affairs, linkages of Moscow attorney Natalia Veselnitskaya, as it relates to her meeting the son of President Donald Trump, confirms her being a personal informant for the former American FBI director James Comey, her being placed, inserted into this situation by the director of her husband's company, and her having initiated a torrid sexual relationship with a reporter for the New York Times. As we had previously reported in our 12th of July article titled Russian Lawyer at Heart of Trump Probe revealed to be James Comey's FBI snitch, the FSB had determined that Natalia Veselnitskaya had become embroiled, entangled in the Hillary Clinton Russian Railways money laundering scheme that led, in October, 2015, to President Putin firing its president Andrei Yakunin. Fired along with Andrei Yakunin from Russian Railways by President Putin, this new FSB bulletin states, were numerous of his top ministers, and as this relates to Natalia Veselnitskaya, included her husband Alexander Mitusov who was Yakunin's first deputy minister of transport. Alexander Mitusov and Natalia Veselnitskaya, this bulletin continues, met and married in 1999, English, when they both were employed by the Department of the Prosecutor General, Central Federal District, Moscow, English and after leaving this employment, Natalia Veselnitskaya became a managing partner, 2003 of a private Moscow law firm named Camerton Consulting. English While a managing partner at Camerton Consulting, this bulletin details, one of Natalia Veselnitz K.I.'s main, top clients was the energy, oil, gas, transportation company SG Trans OJSC, Russian legal name Federal Freight Company OJSC and whose general director, Alexei Teicher, hired her husband Alexander Mitusov as his vice president. English, after he was fired from Russian railways. Being aware of the prior schemes related to Hillary Clinton employed by Russian railways, and fearing that with Alexander Mitusov would transplant them at SG Trans OJSC, this bulletin notes, the Federal Anti-Monopoly Service, FAS, on March 3, 2016, issued a warning to General Director Alexei Teicher stating that he was in violation of Article 25.7 of the Federal Law on Protection of Competition to prevent violations of the anti-monopoly law. Note, unlike in the United States, in Russia only the heads of companies can be charged for crimes, not the company itself. At the time the FAS issued this criminal warning to General Director Alexander Mitusov, this bulletin continues. He enlisted Natalia Veselnitskaya's aid against President Putin using the Obama regime as leverage and who at that time was traveling frequently between the United States, Britain and Russia as part of her representation of a U.S. federal government civil forfeiture complaint against the assets of nine Russian corporations controlling real estate in New York City, but that the U.S. government was forced to drop in exchange her $5.9 million with no wrongdoing admitted and that Natalia Veselnitz K.I. characterized as almost an apology from the U.S. government. English Due to Natalia Veselnitz K.I. being on a U.S. State Department blacklist for her, and her law firms, many associations with Russian energy and banking companies under American sanctions, this bulletin continues, she was denied a visa to enter the United States, with her, instead, being issued a parole letter to enter the U.S. in order to defend her client and that was valid from October 2015 to early January 2016. As Natalia Veselnitz K.I.'s parole letter was ready to expire on January 7, 2017, this bulletin notes, she stated an affidavit to the U.S. federal court that her request to have it extended was denied, as was customary as the case she was representing had already been settled with only the final announcement of it to be made and that was done a number of weeks later May 12, 2017. Immediately upon the denial of Natalia Veselnitz K.I.'s parole letter to extend her stay in America, however, this bulletin notes, FBI Director James Comey's U.S. Department of Justice suddenly, and without notice, allowed her to stay in the U.S., during which time she not only met with Donald Trump Jr., but attended numerous U.S. government functions and, most infamously, 
appeared in the front row of a hearing chaired by U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Ed Royce sitting right behind the Obama regime's former U.S. Ambassador to Russia Miha McFaul. Seeming to always be near Natalia Veselnitskaya during her time in the U.S., FSB analysts in this bulleted detail, was an American political commentator and writer for the New York Times named Jared Yates Sexton, who was not only her lover, but attended Trump protest rallies with her too, and as exampled by her rabidly anti-Trump Facebook page where she posted photos of many such protests. FSB analysts in this bulletin further reveal that Natalia Veselnitskaya and Jared Yates Sexton had been planning, plotting their attempt to discredit Donald Trump Jr. for over a year, and that Jared Yates Sexton himself stunning revealed to be true after Donald Trump Jr. suddenly released his emails this week relating to his meeting with Natalia Veselnitskaya, and that caused Sexton to have a Twitter meltdown. As to how the New York Times reporter Jared Yates Sexton was able to work on this story for a year before anything had actually occurred, this bulletin concludes, shows he was obviously being fed real-time information by his lover Natalia Veselnitskaya as events were occurring, and as she has already been determined to be an informant for the Obama regime's FBI director James Comey, proves too that this is yet another fake news event planned and orchestrated by the deep state to harm President Trump, before he can drain the swamp.